What's up guys, this is Heiss, and we're once again on the ES and DT and Railroader today. And, uh, it's a little bit lighter in terms of crew count, and I would have thought on a holiday, you know, not at midnight for once, uh, it wouldn't have been so bad, but, uh, it's okay. So we are, we're, uh, we're annulling some trains for at least the first little bit here. We might have some friends join us, uh, midway through, but... We're gonna keep things rolling. It looks like the Alarca Junction Y got all built up, so I ordered the car to put the water column up as well, so we can have that for trains turning there. And uh, we're gonna keep things going. So I'm gonna go pick up the first loads um, finished up by Robinson, and maybe make the 2102 run God's most awful cursed mix train in honor of Sits, so. <laughs> Number six, you're normalized. Understood. And then uh, joining us today, we've got Armagon, Bandan, Corey, Dark, and John once again. So uh, we'll see if Corey can handle running trains uh, for the second time here today. Oh, you know I'm going to f*** it up. <laughs> it is the ES and DT after all. Uh, you know, it happens. We accept that. It's quite all right. <laughs> It looks like our passenger cars for train 99 got all fixed up, which is good. And that's, yeah, okay, so, uh, Eric, while you're switching out Bryson, if you could get the the passenger cars dug out from behind the shop and spotted, um, oh. Spotted where? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we didn't break anything, but I went, I went, well, no, I did break my tender a little bit. Um, they were left in the foul. I told Corey to leave them there at the end of the last session, but I definitely just T-boned a business car. That's what I get for trying to take the fast route. Yeah, if you could get him spotted up and set up for uh, passenger service at the, uh, oh shoot, maybe I should, I gotta run up to, no, no, I'll just take him to Alarca. Why not? Don't you worry about those. You will have to get the, right. uh. Um, you will have to get the, uh, the boxcar, the empty boxcar repair parts, because of course it's empty, um, out of the, um, the repair tracks back there, too. Let's see. Seven, am I good to run on up there to P3, P4? Not yet. Hold on. Is track two right. clear of those cars? Yes, track two is clear of those cars. Okay. I'm going to get scooted back on here, and I see I've got a ping, so... Hurry up and wait. Welcome to the railroad. It's either hurry up or hurry up and wait, and there's pretty much no in between. <laughs> no, it's always hurry up and wait. It's never hurry up. Well, sometimes it's hurry up. At least in my experience, it was sometimes, but it's always a pain. Well, as, as train crew, it was not. It's <laughs> never that way. Fair it's enough. Hurry up and get into the terminal. Now sit there and wait for two hours till we can let you into the yard. <laughs> Right, you get until we can let you into you get, a track, sorry. You get told to hurry up, but do you actually have to? Yeah, that's the uh, that's the question. Okay. Let me bang into this business car that I've already banged into once so far today. But this time with the, the coupley bit. Oh, don't worry, we'll just side swap it again later. It's fine. Use a character. And only scares Wait, passengers why, a lot. What? Oh, okay. That's stupid. Sometimes the collisions in this game are confusing. It let me onto the switch, because the switch is not aligned for where the passenger train was. <clears throat> and so I hit, like, I got partway on the switch, and then my train just stopped dead, because I didn't realize I wasn't lined all the way through. It's a little goofy. That's all right. Oh yeah, like what happened on uh, happened to me on Conley Creek? Uh, what two episodes back now? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right, so I'm gonna take these cars up. We're gonna run up to Alarca with these and go from there. They still have this train's loaded. Oh, Corey already partially ran up to Alarca with these. That's right. Well, there's probably more people up there anyways. That's fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Welcome to the ES and DT where nothing makes any sense. 
But yeah, it looks like as I'm running past all this stuff, I don't know if there's any cars that need pulled out here. Uh, you got two cars to pull at uh, Appalachian Hardwoods, Eric, by the way. Sure thing. Thank you, sir. Where the peanuts are made up and the uh, cars don't matter. <laughs> Something like that. The peanuts are no longer made made up. Someone, and oh, I'm not condoning yeah, that yeah. people do this uh, because we don't need to inundate the museum with random crap, but somebody, honest to God, sent a giant bag of just packing peanuts to the museum. Um, Jesus. And I did I did double over and laugh, but it's like, don't, 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 don't make those poor people deal with this crap for a meme, please. <laughs> That's funny. There is one way you can solve that, Mark. Yeah, but it involves going to the post office. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get there. <laughs> I, I ain't lucky enough. I lost my packing peanut last time. Well, you got it. You got your chance to earn another one this time. So. Oh yeah. We'll we'll run the uh, the pulpwood as fast as possible up to Silva. There you go. All right. We'll see if I can hit 60 in this uh, in this little thing here. You might. I don't know. Depends on how many how many cars you take with you. Well, I'm gonna take every single one that's loaded. So hopefully it's all of them. I'd hope so. Last I saw the um, when I was hovering up at uh, Hemming or at uh, what is it called Robinson Gap at the coal mine, they hadn't finished loading all the cars yet. So still. I might, uh, I might advance time once I get up here. I don't know. All right, number four, if you want, you can come up past me. I'm going to hold in two for you. All right, understood. Coming that way. Well, hello. Hello, Casey. Just an hello. FYI, see, now that you're joining us, you oh. can take the passenger train. I'm taking the, the cars up to Alarca, and I'll just... Either I can ditch them there, or I can bring them down with me once I come down with all the stuff from Robinson but I was worried I was going to have to do it as a uh, as a bit of a double whammy. So. <laughs> Ooh, mixed train. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I can I can either leave them at Alarca for you to come grab uh, while I go get stuff, depending on how quick you are to get in the game, or I can bring them back down to Bryson and uh, just leave them for you while I take the, the heavy, heavy, stupid stuff with the 2102. Uh, leave them up there for me. I'll come up and get them. I'm just trying to locate the server. Perfect. Well, it's totally not heist, because it's totally not. <laughs> and uh, I've, I've always been wondering if anyone sees that and like, okay, do they know? Do you have perms on my save, or do I need to give you save uh, perms? I'm pretty sure I do. You've probably I, you've run on here once before at some point, somehow. Well, let, me, some let me go way. touch something and see if I can break it. <laughs> that is the test. All right, switch is line for the house track. We're good. Perfect. Uh, this is the oh, first episode I've recorded in the past little bit uh, where I've not had Jersey at my house. He, he's uh, he's moved to stay with Goose for the remainder of his trip, so because uh, I'm going to Durango tomorrow. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so uh, we're, we're not in Silverton. we're not uh, we're not traumatizing Jersey by house tracking anybody at this uh, this instant right here. But anyway. And I see Midlands joined us. Hello, friend. Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, the last thing that's on the on the job board for today is uh, we need the paperboard switched out with the number two. It's out at Dillsboro, and it switches all the things at Silva as well. So that's perfectly fine. I have I have some experience switching out Silva. Silva paperboard Dillsboro, the you know the whole nine yards. Yes. Yeah. Um, right now I'm hoping I have the uh, yeah. mod pack correct because I have I've had to switch. Yeah, I don't. I don't run too terribly many mods. I run a couple, but not uh, not much. And we honestly really haven't uh, haven't really used any of the mods in the save, other than of course the whistles mod. So, although I didn't download it for this time, people are telling me that they want to see me get the uh, the C sixty eight as another engine, which uh, the I think I've, Maryland H nine. Yes, I think I've got a really old version of it in my mod folder here so I need to get it, get that updated but it's so okay, weird to I, go I'm, from low I'm, breaking I'm, force to medium oh okay I, I'm on a choo choo I'm evidently on the wrong choo choo yeah you're on my choo choo so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go proceed to be on the correct choo choo dang I thought I had a conductor today 
Sorry. <laughs> so I need to grab the two, you said, correct? Yeah, the ten wheeler. Okay, I have grabbed the ten wheeler. Um, and we're going to see what we can do here. Um, yeah. <coughs> oh, wow, you, your crews are nice. The engine's all filled and watered and cold already. <laughs> It's like the one good thing we do on the ES and DT is we coal and water everything before we put it away. <laughs> also, I'm assuming there was no pulpwood in P2 down there. Uh, nope. Whoever was up here with me. Nope, it all goes up to P3. All right. I think there might be oh, some yeah, cars right. that go to that P2, that but I don't... I don't know. Yeah, you we guys had have... set up P, P1, P2, P3, and 4 had the most, but um, I don't know how it... I wasn't on last episode, so I don't know what happened. Scott might have messed with some stuff, too. I don't know. I don't know. And if I'm... I sound a little different, I'm sorry. I'm suffering from a cold. It happens. No worries. I always, uh, anytime I have a cold, I just sit there and try to sing Johnny Cash the best I can. So my normal my normal lowest note is like an A. I'm very much not a bass whatsoever. And and some of the, the Johnny Cash stuff gets down to it like a low F or a low E and it's just like, nope, can't do it. So I always yeah. know it's like, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. How's my cold no doing? I can do that. I can hit Johnny <laughs> Cash. No, you you could probably do that with your normal speaking voice. But anyway. <laughs> you think so? Probably. You've got uh, quite the quite the low low tone to you, so he uh, he also oh. has a little bit of drawl that Johnny d does too. So, hey now, that's my <laughs> Eastern Kentucky accent coming out. <laughs> <laughs> that Appalachian Mountains man. The taste of love is sweet. Okay, I don't I don't need to give him. I don't need to work <laughs> and there goes the copyright. <laughs> There's a copyright strike right there. Is anyone dispatching? <laughs> nope. Nope. All right, anarchy. anarchy. It's a it's a bit of an anarchy moment right now. Maybe when Armagon gets done switching Bryson, if he f so feels so enticed, he could he could be our dispatch because I think uh, all the trains are filled otherwise now. That would be fun. Well, five is coming up the hill to uh, Alarka Junction. Perfect. Let's see, I just the blitzed through Hemingway with your cars. Is a burning thing. <laughs> yeah, they can catch the next train. <laughs> so the two is heading to. Paperboard. Yeah. Darks, so like Darks out there playing with all the crap that showed up in Interchange, so be okay. aware. Yep. Uh, I, I so will be aware and number be two, how far are you from? How far are you from? Uh, from I'm Dillsborough. leaving Dillsboro. Alright, well, I've got your stuff all in a sighting already, so. I appreciate that. Perfect. Luckily, that was pretty easy. Seven, are you able to clear up? I can get by you there at all. I don't think so, but I'm almost done here. Let me just shove these cars up into L1. Uh, I... I've got a flare down, so you can come up to that point, and I'll pull it when I'm done. I uh, understood. Do this. Flares are only good for AI. I'm a true engineer. Well, I guess I'm just gonna assume that you're that Casey's gonna get here and get these out of my hair by the time I come back down. So. Oh, I like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just spot him up on the main here at the state. There's not really a main at this point anyway, because we, I just built the Y, so we don't really go any further west right now. Excellent. And let me just Excellent. slam these passengers around. <laughs> the train still has some people on it, which is silly, but... It was in the repair... They, they spent the night at the repair shop listening to the car knockers banging. You know. Okay, let's see. Uh, copied a couple of all the things. All right. Those will load up. I'll tie a break for you. All the stuff for the Y is done, but yeah, you'll just be presumably out and of the way by then. Okay. It's it, it's okay. They probably don't remember anything. Probably not. It's fine. I, they got a good nap in listening to tools and stuff banging around all day. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Oh, I was going to ask, how much of this is us uh, cleaning up problems? 
Uh, Night Shift has been... I mean, we weren't too bad last episode. Corey's was... uh, Corey was running for the first time, and he came off at the the 25-mile-an-hour curve coming back down into Bryson. Um, Okay. And and we had to put those cars in the shop, and that was why the the passenger train was in the shop. But honestly, it's not not so bad other than that. And I need to check... Also, I love that you said look out for. I I had plenty of time to stop. Good. (laughs) Let's see. So you have to do three days at the first tier before you can get another tier, is that right? Yep. yep. Or you can do either three to get one tier, or you can do five to get two. Interesting. Uh, so we got we got a couple days before Robinson becomes a <laughs> a problem. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I recently recorded an episode where I had to take seventy three cars up there. Oh my god. Oh, I'm excited for that what? sort of stuff, what are you man. Talking about Rob Gap, up oh, Robinson no, Gap. I, I, that I was using a modded Robinson yeah, we to have get a, it all to fit. We, we have a modded Robinson. We take out up about 127 cars every day. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Ooh, God, we we will get there one of these days on the ES and DT. I can't believe they're still trusting us with, uh, you know, people's uh, people's cargo. But here we are. I mean, it's just cool. I mean, it's cold as our freight complain. performance is outra- outrageously good. Our freight performance is however, perfect. Our, uh, however, our uh, safety is not so good. It's fine. But it is the ES and DT. We, safety not great, but we get the job done. That's true. We'll have Absolutely. one simulator be like. <laughs> it's fine. Not NS simulator. <laughs> it's fine. Let's see. When How's our... We are... At 17, in 17 hours, so tonight at midnight we get to pay... Sixteen thousand dollars. Well, according so. to the financial department, we have thirty-two thousand. Uh, yes, uh, and our current loan is one hundred ninety thousand. So, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Jesus, Frick. it's fine. It's fine. The railroad, the railroad must grow. It's like Factorio, yeah. The railroad. I must miss grow. a day of work for being sick, and all of a sudden we get like ten times the amount of loan. Pretty much. Well, we bought the the two ten too, and that was not cheap. So, oh, the uh, Santa, cheap, yeah, Santa, Santa, Santa Fe, uh, and we'll buy I'll another in soon that, so. too. So, hey, two, I'm just gonna hold for you until you get up here. I'm just come up to the interchange, grab your cars, and get and skedaddle, please. Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm going like to advance time an hour here. Um, where where are the settings? There we go. And see if I can get some more of these Robinson cars loaded. Are they are they waiting for something or how long did the cars take to load? Uh, it's ten minutes per car. Well, I just jumped it ahead two hours and they didn't do anything. Do you have the uh, the box car up there spotted? Box car spotted, yeah. And it's oh, got forty wow. tons of mining supplies still. I have no clue then. Maybe it just takes a second to nah. catch up and cycle through. Uh, yeah, it could be. All right, John, you're clear to go through east. Do you need to it. bring the cars down uh, to the to the loaders themselves manually? No. Nope. No, no, not anymore. No, they got a they got an invisible track mobile there. Gotcha. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. No, no, it's it's gravity switching. Yeah. A lot of places That's did actually- that. Yep. It that's how the uh during testing it used to be is you had to manually load it and you could just gravity switch it down at like one mile an hour and just load all the cars. It became a little bit of like a money farm. Cause like you could you like tier five, like you'd load the entire thing in like half an hour and just farm money. That would be pretty sick. I I really enjoyed that. I thought it was a I thought I it was a really it. cool feature. Yeah, I miss it. Dunk. Okay, I see my cut of cars. Well, I hooked oh. into the the four that they have loaded. I guess I'll try advancing one more hour uh, and see if we get any more than these. Because I don't know. Because yeah, maybe the time well, skips don't work for those. What was it? Why is a scheduled train green as an extra? 
Uh, white is an extra, and then green is oh, okay. the the leading section of a multi section train. That's right. Yeah. And okay. if you're if you're on the timetable, then you don't need to carry lights up front. Uh, but yeah, I guess right. technically, with that video came out for members. It's coming out for the general public uh, in a couple days because everything's uh, early for members now, and I just post it when it's done. Um, but yeah, that's. I've, uh, I've come to notice. <laughs> <laughs> and I just watched that while I was cooking dinner tonight. Yeah. I actually What's watched that in the middle of arguing with a bunch of other people on the other railroader server. <laughs> As you do. I, w I was curious, actually, what uh, if everything that I talked about lined up with your expectations back east, Casey, because... Uh, yes. West east, the, the amount of weird silliness. <laughs> the, the beauty of standard code and it being almost completely identical across except for the third light in the cupola that wasn't an east coast thing that's that, that was 100 like percent a stupid rio grande thing yeah <laughs> uh but like all of that's the same and then there's the weirdness of like early rule books where it's like oh yeah there's like four class lamps on the engine and like each one means a different thing for like routing and like you have upper class lamps and lower class lamps and right like that. The, I think much. I think in the early grand books too, I couldn't find the the sections on it, which is why I didn't include it. I think they had rules for uh, up to four flags or lamps on the the head end because the, the origins of those, which oh that was a fun detail I could have included. Oh well, the origins of marker lights, class lights, um, was just hanging brakeman's lanterns from the headlight shelf on the locomotives. And so, you know, having four didn't seem like a big deal because everyone had a lamp, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I waited, I waited like basically six hours in game time and all but one of the cars got loaded up. So I'm just going to go. <laughs> yeah. And all the cars I spotted at the sawmill are now empty. So I'm going to do two oh. log runs. Do, do it again. Do, do it again. <laughs> Want to see me run to that hill? Want to see me do it again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So well, I heard you like logs. Yes. Well, I am the Sumter Valley guy. It's true. Well, it's interesting. I'm glad that, uh, that that stuff actually does kind of translate over to the the East Coast as well. Yeah, if you want, I can shoot you the um, link I have to... I think it's Erie's 1920-something rulebook. It's it's standard code. It's it like it, it, is, it is just standard code. There's nothing special in it, but they have all of like the East Coast way of doing class lamps and markers and running on double track and triple track if you want to if that's throw that in the description. yeah if that's Thomas public Bell. i'd gladly put that in the description for sure that'd be awesome thank you yeah. yes but for all you uh non-member viewers that uh, the video we're discussing comes out on saturday so <laughs> and if you're a member and you haven't watched it yet it came out uh, a day ago uh, a day ago as we record this a day ago probably when i post this it's fine yeah trying to get videos oh, done before day. I go on a hey, trip. number so. four, you're going to need to wait right there. Oh, Alright, the five's heading east. Five's heading east, that's perfect, because I'm coming down down the hill out of Robinson right now and trying to do the brakes. It's fine. <laughs> that's a grade there. It is a grade. I've got I've got <laughs> I've got almost a 20 pound set on and I guess I do have a really big heavy 210 2 at the head end, but I was expecting it to do a little bit more. But god, when you get into the curves, the curves bite you so much. I had no clue until I started running this branch that all that was simulated, and that's pretty honestly cool. Yeah, because I just released the air, let everything recharge, and it's the curve is just holding me at 12. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. There's a bowl in there, too, that when I'm running on uh, the AM and W and the VRA stuff, like... You can release coming through that curve and let the bowl bite your speed if you're coming in too fast to get to like eat you coming up and over so you don't derail coming off the branch. Sure. That that's I think that's right where I just was because I'm just on the approach to the switch. It's the last the last big uh, half turn here. Don't mind me blowing the wrong whistle signal and then fixing it. Close <laughs> enough. 
I said I was gonna run through the station, then I was like, wait, no, there's, I gotta pick up those empties that were from the bridge site. Or from the Y site, whatever. Not the bridge site this time. So I'm gonna grab all this mess and... Yeah, I see how the coal trains become a problem. It's seven cars and 693 tons already, so... Yeah, I could I can understand how that's gonna turn into quite the mess uh, as the industry scales up. So on the the server we got going, we have to have two Santa Fe's pull the rub cap coal because we end up coming out with over like sixty to seventy cars every time. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I believe that. That's uh, that's quite the thing. So I'm trying to think. I, I like keeping the, the narrative moving so we get new stuff as the episodes go on. Um, I Like, the next move down the rest of the line is a pretty big milestone, isn't it? If you do Fontana Lake. Correct, yeah. yeah. Versus... Yeah, I think it goes all the way to Andrews. Versus the Alarca branch is smaller. Which one, which one makes more sense to do first? Alarca branch, uh, honestly. Alarca branch. If yeah, you Alarca. Make a decent income. Okay. No. It's it's a cool and little Andrews terminus. Has got, Andrews has got such a steep hill to go up, red marble grade. It just well, it well, makes it, no sense with the power you got right now. The track the track goes to Natahala. It doesn't go up red marble. Right. It gets oh, it to the base yeah. okay. of red marble next, but that that okay. that adds a lot of run though, and. I don't think we're quite ready for that. The the branch, I think, would actually be kind of neat. So, maybe we'll do that and get that rolling. Obviously, today we don't have any cars ordered that show up today, but we will shortly. C1CD is a nice thing to have. Bang, there we go. Okay. All the cons you are wanna, empty, and you here wanna... we go. If you want continuous chaos, C1 CD, what? set it at two hours delivery, and then just have fun. <laughs> <laughs> keep sh keep giving us stuff at the interchange. Yeah, it's it's class one continuous delivery. Oh goodness, I didn't realize that was an it option. Is, yeah, it's a uh, so same place you would download Rail Loader is the same place you can get C1 CD. Oh, that's a mod. Okay, cool. Yep. We run it on our 24-7 server, and oh my gosh, does it get backed up so quick. That's gotta be nuts. Yeah. Even with 30 players on, it still is chaos. Well, it's just a lot of stuff to move and a lot of things to do. Yeah. We thought about taking it from three hours and extending it to five just to give us a grace period. Hey, uh, remind me, Mark. Mm -hmm. Do we, uh... Does the Westbound also handle handle Ela or is that uh, or is that uh, Whittier? Oh, yeah, you can give that to the guys at Whittier. Just dump it at the yard, okay. and they can they can sort it out. You'll you'll take it to okay. them, but okay, I'll just promptly make it their problem. <laughs> yeah, D Gee, dump dump thanks. it off at Whittier, and when Van Dan's done with the the thirtieth log train of the day, uh, <laughs> then it'll work. All right, I'm I'm eastbound coming into Hemingway, so I'm gonna try and keep a couple minutes off of Casey's butt if possible. Ooh. But we'll see. Might get close. Is it, it going to be at least a regulation ten minutes? Nope, I think we're already closer than that. <laughs> In my railroad, we're allowed to get within a mile of each other unless you talk. Well, we're I'm a. A mile and maybe a mile, no, away? a mile and a third out from you. Pulling through a little air here as I come into Hemingway. <laughs> yeah, let me get the. We got enough money. I'm gonna get those cars ordered for the Lark Branch. Why not? So they'll get delivered, and it's 18 cars. Well, that's gonna make tomorrow's interchange interesting. It's fine. Even more so than it already was. Yeah, we already had 41 cars come in today, which is... You know, it's, it feels like a lot, but that's just the new normal on the railroad here. And obviously it's a lot less than uh, people playing on a big save, you know? 
casually stack overflowing the game, having too many cars show up. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, number seven. Uh, I'm coming into the station. Are you clear? Yep, I'm in the clear. Okay. Make sure you got your, your lanterns and flags positioned appropriately. <laughs> yes, <laughs> as we learned. Yeah, I thought I thought of that video. I mean, literally just the title being like, what is a train? It's like, well, that's that is what defines what a train is. It, it feels like an existential kind of silly question, but. What is what is a train? A train? It feels like something Jonathan Frakes would ask me in a very illustrious voice. What is a train? What is a train? It's like one of those like into the universe National Geographic episodes. What is a train? Uh, exactly. <laughs> Armagon, how's the switching coming at Bryson? I'm going to be there in I don't know, well. maybe five, um, five, ten minutes or so. I got the cars out of Appalachian Hardwoods, and I also shuffled around the stuff down in Standard Oil. So that's the car that needs to come out is first on the track. Look at you thinking with portals. He's going to get an extra, oh, extra packing peanut. Yeah, he might get an extra packing peanut for that. Wait, you I guys are to. getting paid? <laughs> I've been... Somebody has bankrolled the ESD for... <laughs> for the next six months worth of packing peanuts. <laughs> I expect to see one when I when you show up to the uh, to the uh, whistleblower. R remind self, bring pack it, packing peanuts to Kentucky to pay people, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need my uh, I need my packing peanut. We'll have to do a photo shoot of you handing me a packing peanut. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna have Perfection. to do the same when you come to Pennsylvania. You're just gonna have to start handing out packing peanuts. Just carry them around. I'm already, I already carry like random merch and stuff with me if I remember to, which I hope I do. But anyway, <laughs> I'll buy a piss cup. Do it. Have one. Have one ready for when I derail. <laughs> it's important. And surprisingly, I've already had to do it once. It happens. Okay. I've got a bit of a long straight right before the curve here. There's a lot of spicy curves on this chunk of alignment right here. Probably I'd love to run this alignment in real life. Because that just seems like such a fun... Like, coming through that horseshoe into that tangent and then skirting along the river coming down. Like, that just seems like such a fun piece of railroad to run on. I bet you it'd be fun. I mean, I'm, I'm stuck going in circles most of the time when I get to play trains, so, you know, anything else sounds nice. So, so, <laughs> hey, sometimes you get to go left around the circle, and sometimes you get to go right around the circle. It's true. It's true. Oh, I only get to go forwards and backwards, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, sometimes he I'm goes in Europe. I'm privileged enough to go left, right. <laughs> it's true. I, sometimes the, Heist goes to Europe. The last time I ran the... Train. The last time I ran Steam was, in fact, in Europe, because I was sick the last time the museum ran Steam. <laughs> that was funny. If I wasn't sick, I would have already went out to Ravina and looked around, seen about volunteering. Okay. Back on the downgrade here. Yeah, Casey pulled away from me. She got a lot of experience. On this. I, I've got a lot of experience running on this silly little game. I was gonna say, I was taking it a little easy. I, I've i got it. I came down that hill with a single set after the horseshoe. That's, that's actually really cool. Um, I get, oh. I don't know, this, this may be a spicy take, but I get bored running both in this and in real life, where like, I try and see like, what new things I can do that like I've heard people talk about of like can I get down the hill with like a single set and like be at the right speed no that's that um, is those are the games you play with yourself as an engineer like I I get it a hundred percent going around in circles all day um we're the, the blue choo-choo hath arrived as many people noticed in the, the background <laughs> of the video the blue choo-choo named Tomas uh, has arrived at the museum and we have to give a 20 minute ride minimum 
and that we do four laps in the museum, and that's agonizingly slow for those wondering at home, but safety and things and stuff and words. Um, and yeah, it's not like a class one where you do 60. Right. The, uh, the thought that I always have is like, okay, let's see if I can get an exactly 20 minute long train ride from whistle to whistle. And last year I was spotted perfectly and I had 20 minutes in one second and it was smooth. So I don't know if I'm going to beat that or not. Oh, keep trying. Uh, I will. I will give it a shot. We'll see. Last year, uh, for Polar, they've they've got it automated too. There's actually a, uh, you know, we get like a detector message basically that says, "Oh yeah, you completed the lap in this much time," um, and uh, I had, uh, it was it's partially actuated by the showrunners, though he said he's going to automate it entirely this year so that it's always consistent. But I literally had uh, my last trip. I had never gotten a perfect four-minute lap because that's what we shoot for for Polar. Um, never got a perfect four-minute lap. But my last trip, I had like a 4.15, the first lap. And then the next five laps were 3.59s or 4.01s. And I'm like, okay, I didn't get a four-minute perfect lap. But if I like, uh, but the consistency, like, come on. So. Consistency is there. Yeah, so we'll see if I can get it. But yeah, you, you play those games. Um, Armagon, I'm going to come snake into the yard, I guess, a track up from you. Alrighty. I probably shouldn't have gone through I'm those crossovers that to fast. I'm going to touch anything in a museum. It's fine. Uh, I'll snake up one track, one. and if you want to just stab this stuff on my butt, that would be great. Sure thing. I got one more car to pick up, though. Oh, okay. Uh, if you're willing to wait, I can get it on my front end, and then. Oh sure, no, I'll, I I can. You just go do those, and I'll just back into these. Then, if we got time. Okay. Giving Casey more leeway ahead of me too. Anyway, she's probably all the way halfway to Ella by now. Anyway. No, not, I'm not uh, halfway to Governor's Island. Mile out. All right, not so bad. Yeah, uh, Corey, you should probably of which, in Ella. Who's who's my counterpart? Uh, for, Corey, uh, Corey's the other passenger train. And this is Corey's second day on the job, so... <laughs> oh, good. Uh, you want to meet at Ella? Yeah, th that'll be fine. I'm going to stop at Ella and go use the restroom. Uh, All right. 4-2. Uh, 4, uh, where's your heading to? <laughs> uh, pulling in to drop some pulpwood cars off and take the empties back. Cool, because I'm just about to become westbound. Six is about nice. to come westbound. Oh, you've made it to Silva already? Nice. You might yeah. get back in Peanut after all. I told you I was going to was gonna run as fast as I could. Pulling class one speeds on a on a, on a short line. Perfect. Yeah, be, be aware. Two is going to be out of your way for the foreseeable future. All right. Because two has made decisions and now needs to live with them. <laughs> Poor, poor Midland. We uh, we recently tier five to the paperboard, so it's. Oh, uh, that's fine. It, it's more so I have kind of switched myself into a corner, and now I need to switch myself out of a corner. It it happens. It happens. All right, well, Which I'm gonna be able to do, assuming things fit where I need them to. Well, hopefully it works. Silva's always a fun one to switch. Assuming that my knowledge of uh, IRL transfers into this game, I'm going to try and kick these cars perfectly into their places. <laughs> Make it happen. Uh, I believe in you. <laughs> Alright. Is it an extra packing peanut if I can spot it perfectly? It is. Oh, that's Bang. a challenge do I, need I accept. Four, do I, four, this is four, uh, six to four. Do I need to wait for you at the interchange? or? Oh, I'm... Uh, if you want to just hold the there for a second, I'm rolling through Silva proper right now, coming by the depot. All right. At a high rate of speed. Okay. Well, I will be right back. We're going to pause the recording here. And when uh, I get my train underway out of Bryson, we'll pick it right back up. All right. All set at Bryson here. I'm heading eastbound and down. Just watch old Bandy run, right? Something like that. Eastbound and down. 
load it up and try it. Unfortunately, it's eastbound and up in the case of this railroad, but that's all right. I've only got a thousand tons, so it hopefully shouldn't be too terribly bad yet, but let's see. Is there anything else for the three to do? Uh, there shouldn't be. Once once all that stuff got switched, that was basically it. So you're you're up to dispatch now if you feel like it. Okay, I've never tried doing that. Let me put the three to bed first. All right, four. Be aware, I'm gonna sneak out in front of you. Nah, you got time. Still got time. I'm gonna have um, to hold it. I got gov. three cars headed to the other side of paperboard here. It's nine. I need to figure out what I'm gonna deal with. Do with the uh, Dillsborough stuff as well as the two other paperboard cars. So we're gonna make this work. Let's see, where's my cut car? E2. There it is, cut car. Corey, are you back? That would be a no. I'm gonna have to meet with him at Ella or Governor's Island. We'll see what it ends up being. We'll he's, cross that bridge when we get to it. Maybe quite literally. He is just sitting there at Ella right now, so I, I assume we're gonna meet at Gov Island, but he is, if he doesn't move between now and the time I get to Gov Island, I'll sneak past him on the main. Six entering ABS. Six is entering ABS. Look at you. That'll be very important soon. We're gonna have to swap the, the box over to CTC. I'm not entirely certain how fast I can run this big beast through here, but it seems hey, to be doing Mark. 40 okay. Yeah. You want to meet at Gov Island? That's what I was thinking would probably happen, yeah. see if I can get a fix on my bearings. Don't forget to oil them while you're at it. <laughs> Lines. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Lines. Also, I think you're going to have to dock me. It took me four episodes to do one of those. I think you're going to have to dock me a few packing peanuts because I forgot to oil the cars before I gave them to you. I guess I'll check them when I stop at Governor's Island if I don't end up having a hot box before then. Oh well, hot box, schmot box. Afraid to run and things to move. <laughs> exactly. Burn it down. <laughs> okay, so if I am legal dispatcher, you're lined into a pole. That's good. Yeah, it should be lined in. Uh, I think the box needs to get set to CTC, so let me do that for you. Tunk. There we go. And of course, as a result, I've just blown through a red. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm just about to blow through one myself, so be advised. My body just fell through the world, and now I'm back. It happens. Coming in for the meet at Gov Island. Hopefully, don't have to wait for Corey for too terribly long. Oh, it shouldn't be too bad. You're about a mile out, so. Is this I'm train going to need cooler water before I get where I need to go. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. How much do you have? Oh, you're you're like more half a half. Yeah, you know, you'd be fine. You can run up to Alarco with that and then uh, you'll service your power before you put it up in the roundhouse. Okay. Five to dispatch. <laughs> <laughs> the sound effects are so good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me dim my jet light. Okay. Uh, eight is in the hole at Governor's Island. Six to dispatch ah. coming. Hermagon's first day on the job. Oh boy. Oh boy. The question is is Armagon sober for this? <laughs> He probably doesn't want to be. Don't worry, we're breaking rule G right now anyways. I 
I can't figure Six out dispatch. how to make the switch move. <laughs> so you have to, okay, you, you've got your switches and signals, you click and drag, and then you have to hit the code button on the bottom to cause things to happen. Oh. Okay. And then the switches and signals all correspond. So, yeah, once you hear the code running, yeah, that should work. But you don't have the entry cleared um, to Gov Island, so uh, get the right side. Signal, no, 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 no. 50, you want it cleared to the left, but you want signal 52 also cleared to the left. Do you see how it's 52 is the one on the approach on the screen yeah. there? Yeah, so you get those both clear to the left. That'll give Corey a clear line through Gov Island. This is very complicated. It will take more tries to get this right. Yes. Well, don't worry. I think you've got at least two people that are asking for you. <laughs> okay, who who else needs, uh, needs stuff? Six. Six, let me find you. I just blasted through Cowie. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep track of, your, of the trains for yourself. Cool. So you can set up little, you can actually set up little markers. Yeah, with the plus button on the far right. So you can grab one, stick it there, I'm dragging it for you, and then rename it to B number six or whatever. There you go, and that that way you know. It's very helpful to do. So they're they're just doing the thing there, but I think Casey wants your attention as well. Yeah, this is. Five and Whittier looking for lights going east. All right, Mark, I'm in the clear. Yep, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna bug Eric as soon as he gets Casey set up. Yes. Okay. Um, so I she wants get... to go east. So make sure uh, is she in the hole at Whittier or is she on the main? I'm on the main. Okay. So make sure the switches are set normal and then clear the the signals to the right. Where'd you go? Armagon was here. Ah. He disappeared. I, I have <laughs> evaporated. Press three to put your character back at uh, dispatch. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So at Whittier, clear the uh, signal fifty or sixty-four to the right. So flip the signal to the right and then run the code button, and that'll clear her signal there on the main. And then while you're doing that, if you could reverse, um, switch fifty-one at the east side of Gov Island, and then clear the signal 52 to the right. And that'll that'll get me a light out. And if I return to my train, look at that high green. Number eight, departing Governor's Island, eastbound. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll learn you up on these things. This is an easy, easy uh, save to dispatch on comparatively. <laughs> <laughs> Cries. <laughs> I had a lot of whiskey the first time I dispatched the AM and W, and I don't know if it helped or not. <laughs> it probably did. I wish I was drinking when I did the train orders night. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> This thing is just waltzing up up through here with these, so this is great. Dan, Dan, do you have all the pickups made for the uh, for the eastbound? Yep, just get them spotted in the yard. Sweet. I haven't checked Ella yet. I don't know if there's anything there. I think there's two cars at Ella. There are two cars at Ella to grab. I can grab those. I'll probably be there first. So... Is there anybody here with the multiplayer mod for Derail, Derail Valley? I mean, I have it. I've yet to successfully host, but as we discussed, I haven't tried using Hamachi yet. I want to try that. Six the Dispatcher holding on the west end of Barker's Creek. Because uh, I did get it to work, but I was only... It was just me. Granted, I was using my laptop tethered to my phone and my main computer, but I want to do some more testing to see if I can't get it fully working. I'll have to give that a go another one of these times. I, I'd be really interested in getting that to work. 
I think it'd be a crap ton of fun if we could get it to work. I had fun playing it with uh, with Sean, the channel member that got it working on his end as a host. So. Yeah, fun. I wasn't able to get, like, the list to work. Like, clicking on, uh, uh, clicking on it through the list. I had to, use, like, put the IP in manually and got it to work that way. So, I, that could have been your problem. Could have been. I'll have to try that. Because I thought I forwarded ports right and everything, so... This is the absolute strangest thing. I am not seeing number five in the save. Number five? Yep. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It's fine. Uh-oh. Uh, be advised, uh, Armagon, I'm blowing through a red board at Ella. <laughs> Just so you know. Five to dispatch. I've got an approach on the intermediate to Thomas Valley. And yet you you have to move your labels yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So Thomas Valley. Or yeah, right. you got you got to keep track of who's who. I'm a, I'm the one that's occupying Ella right now. So. And I'm in the eight. Four dispatch. Who put me on ro Who put me on AI? Oh, sorry. I, I misread a message. My apologies. Eric, when they ask for dispatch, they're asking for you, my friend. I know, I know. I, I, I am <laughs> having troubles keeping up. Uh, previous signal, could you repeat, please? Uh, uh, uh number four dispatch. Uh, need for, uh, permission out of Silva to con the creek. We handed him a dispatcher board, said nothing, and then said, figure it out, kid. <laughs> well, that's how it really happens in real life, right? That Something is the like most that. old school way of doing that. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> Just have all the people you yell go. at you. Six dispatch waiting outside the west end of Arthur's Creek. At this point, with number five coming down the lane, you might as well just put me into the siding. Uh, yeah, five dispatch. I'm looking at a red East End Thomas Valley. Okay. Uh, on the side. The eight. Let me see if that does something. If you, uh, you want to swap line jobs with, uh, direction. if you want to swap jobs with me, Armagon, we could do that too. Yeah, I'm very much out of my depth. All right, well, come oh, come run oh. the number eight, and I'll 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 dispatch my own railroad. Oh God! Uh, so it begins. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Don't apologize. We threw you into the hot seat while recording, like, yep. and that's literally the hot seat. Let me get this thing clear the switch and stopped, and I'll attempt to unfuddle the the dispatching things. Okay. Some might even say it's the hottest seat on the railroad. Uh, pretty much. Okay, there, there, the ones there, the fives in Thomas Valley and the whole, the six is stuck there. Where The four is at Silva coming. Okay, so four, uh, I'm going to get you uh, dispatch calling number four. We're going to get you lined through to Coey. I'm going to put you in the hole at Coey because I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to have to do with you. You should have lights through. Um I think so, unless that's signal 90. No, you need the light out of Silva. Okay. Yeah, you should have lights all the way to Koei now. Number six, I'm going to put you... Yeah, you have to go in the hole at Barker's. So you're going to be lined into the hole at Barker's there. Um, and then number five, I'm reversing switches now and clearing you out the other way. And I'm going to run you into uh, onto the main at Barker's. Uh, let me know if you got lights out. I think you should. Five has lights. Okay, perfect. It's the 
five is there the six is there four is not on my map the eight is no longer me it's now uh, although i still have it selected so i can sit here and troll eric with my v button um <laughs> ding there we go fives in the interlocking the one and then the three and then i guess the oh yeah the one's going to be off uh, off the stuff uh dispatch call number one over Dispatch, this is one, staring at a red west of Bryson. I had a feeling that was you. Okay, you're uh, you're lined out on the main. You should be clear, and you're going to be off my board once you disappear, though, so let me know when you're knocking on the door to come back into Bryson. Over. Will do. Okay, so the one's off the off the map. You're off the edge of the map now. We're good and lost. Uh, anyway. I good and lost. I'm going to get... Armagon, you're going to be cleared out um, to Whittier. You're going to have to make a pickup at East Whittier. All right, acknowledged. Eight out. Okay. Six is working to get in there. The four is on my board now. Okay. I think I think situations. I think things have been handled somewhat. <laughs> I think the one's going off the board. Somebody shows in Bryson, and I'm not sure who that is, unless it's just a car, because it's at like the east end, or maybe it's a switch that's open. Yeah, it's the switch that's open. Close that, and that'll get rid of that indication. Okay, because the three is in the shop at Bryson. The two is still futzing around the paperboard somewhere, so we'll get you put up at Silva. I heard a ding. Oh, that's Armagon coming out of Ella, heading east. Okay. So let me just, I want to get all my engines on the board just so I can keep track of who the hell people are. So the seven, um, dispatch calling seven over. Seven. I'm Wait. heading up Connolly. You're up at Connolly. Okay. Perfect. And the one's off the map. The two's there. The three is in the shop at Bryson. Thankfully, there's not that many trains to keep track of on this railroad, and it's only half the CTC machine. For now. For now. So you're there. We got a ding. That's the four coming into Dillsboro. 100 years before the dispatch board. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. They approach West Dillsboro. Four out. Approach West Dills. Dispatch acknowledges. That's perfect because you've gonna, you're going in the hole at Coey, and you're gonna wait for the number five to come by you. And we're gonna clear the number five through. Okay. All right. Love <laughs> is a burning thing. <laughs> Ring of fire. Pretty much. The ring of far. Ring of a fa far. It's a far ring. <laughs> hey you hurt yourself today. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your head up. <laughs> I don't know if the copyright strike me for lyrics. Well, I, I hope not. It's fine. Okay. Is everything. The dispatch, God, it's been so long since I've dispatched. There's so much to it. It's fun. As soon as the five How gets close is there, five? It's, they're, they're pulling into Barker's now, so you're going to be sitting for a minute. Dang. <laughs> what was that you were saying about hurry up and wait? <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it every day. <laughs> of course, I forgot this whole freaking time I had myself muted. Go, God, freaking... <laughs> well, well, just out of curiosity, is there a chance that I can get a signal back out the uh, the east end, run around this train? Yeah, yeah, I can get you a light out the east end. Sweet. As uh, we yes. say on the Susquehanna, NYS and W. Now you sit and wait. <laughs> NYS and W. <laughs> That's perfect. Now you sit and wait. That is. We're gonna have to remember that one. Six two. Hey, don't worry, I had a dispatcher tell me that freight trains had brakes too. Use is, them. This is dispatch over. 
Six, as soon as five passes me, can I have clearance to to uh, Thomas to Thomas Valley? I need to do some uh, switching at uh, at to Wilmot. Yep, you'll be clear to Thomas Valley as soon as the five's out your way. Six and thirty-two. Okay. Am I still on the switch? Looks like you're clear on my end. I can get you a light through on the main past the train. Oh, I can't clear. You're going to have to go by the light. You're going to have to run through the uh, the light at the far end. I can't do anything about that. All right. Just be advised. Do the spad. And six, you should have a light out, okay? Then four, green aspect. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so he's going to be going there. We should buy the stop west end of Cowie. Yep. Yep, let me know. I can realign the switch for the, the hole for you. <laughs> all the dings all at once. Hit it, partner. There you go. Okay, hitting it. Again, you're going to have to go by the red. Mission by the red, West Cowie into the siding eastbound. There you go. All normal little switches. Get everything set up to go that way. You can throw it back for the main now. Back to the main. And clearing the high greens on the main. All the way through to Dillsboro. Number five, you should have lights all the way to Silva. Five lights all the way to Silva. <laughs> <laughs> it's the simple thing sometimes. See, what is that? Uh, what's that song? I'm trying to think of it now. There's a long black train. Pretty much. <laughs> Coming down the line. I don't know who's who's winning the uh, the long train at the moment. Armagon's got 22 cars. Sitting at 30. Oh <laughs> God, the, yeah. I guess it would be the westbound, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's take a look at that. Yeah, because you're gonna have to set out a couple cars at uh, Wilmot. Yeah, and I gotta swap out four of them. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> You've got so many cars for Whittier. That's uh, that's hilarious. I mean, I would just be Dutch dropping them if I were you, but you, you, uh, not you, really. Here's how you mess with the I gotta, do, I gotta deal with the house track. <laughs> oh, there's not space. I usually just yeah. end up Dutch dropping them as the uh, as the, the westbound and making the eastbound and reorganize everything. <laughs> but do, do, do what you got to do. Okay, just gonna be there. Let's see you come through there. Normal. Those guys be ready. Uh, five is not high greens all the way through. Not a high green all the way through. I, I'm blowing the red at Cowie. Why would you be a red at Cowie? That's my bad. I may or may not have put a bar down on the track to throw the signal. How dare you? Don't shut <laughs> my track circuits. <laughs> well, you should be good high greens the rest of the way. <laughs> not sure what was what was going there, but anyway. Yeah. As soon as I you... drop the uh, the base plate yeah. off the, the off the tender and let it shunt the circuits. <laughs> I wonder if that would have low enough resistance. Probably the apron. I don't know. I've That's never measured so the resistance of that. Okay. Dispatch number four. You should have a lights out of Koei westbound. Green out of Koei. Here we go westbound. I'm not saying why I know how. But I know that a, a rake from the tender will trip um, crossing gates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. 
I'm not saying it, but uh, you know, an electric magnet. There was can a do student involved, okay? <laughs> I have never gotten to run on signalized territory, so. <laughs> hey, dispatch. Oh no, this this is crossing gates. Trip a trip across. Oh, either way, yeah, it's dispatch yeah. over. Is there any way we can get somebody to cover this four? Cover the four? Yeah. Some yeah. Just popped up. I gotta. I gotta dip. No, oh, you gotta run. I can run it. No big deal. All right. Can go back to anarchy mode. <laughs> back to anarchy. Ah! Ah! The anarchy Fall through the command. maps. <laughs> the world just flashed before my eyes. Okay, well that was uh, dispatching on the ES and DT for approximately twenty minutes. Everybody. Uh, hello there. Uh, hello there. You got a hold of it. Yes, I got All it. Right. See ya. Yep. Later. Thanks, John. Do I need to be worried about this speed? Yes, I do. Probably. <laughs> it would be advisable to be worried about it. Coming up to this, doing about 50 mile an hour. It's like, okay, that's a little much. That is a little much. <laughs> this What's is not the fast uh, mail. <laughs> it's just ESDT, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you can come dispatch if you want. <laughs> oh, no. Now I know I've been confusing the two of you the entire time in my Discord. Every time one of you joins a call, I sit here and be like, wait, which one's Casey and which one's Sim Sam? I didn't realize you were just off by one number. <laughs> oh my god. Our, uh, our profile photos are uh, the sister engines, too. That's hilarious. It, and they're, like, taken from the same exact angle, so... Oh god. I may or may not have gone out and taken my profile picture at the exact angle just to make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope this you know. May not, this may or may not have been a deliberate plot. You have successfully fooled me for quite some time. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's funny. That's awesome. I explicitly last time saw somebody with SY gang join the Discord and I started talking about camera gear, then got confused as to why Casey wasn't excited to talk about camera gear, only to realize that Casey was not here. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's camera fine. Gear? Camera it's gear. fine. It's fine. Uh, so you said you need me to dispatch? Yeah, if you'd want to dispatch, that's, that's pretty much all that's open at the moment. You'll yeah, have to, I can go. I can you'll have to flip, flip the board back over to CTC again and drop Casey through the map again. <laughs> oh boy, my favorite. My How favorite. many times am I going to see the green flash tonight? <laughs> <laughs> at least once more, Miss Swan. At least once. You best start believing in ghost stories. You're really one. one. I actually saw the Lady Washington yesterday, and, you know, she was in the first movie. God, that ship was the bane of our <laughs> existence. <laughs> and there's the first whistle sound effect. Uh, but in a while, Corey had yeah. one earlier, but yes. <laughs> so, so, fun fact, uh, wooden sailing ships are really hard to track from a submarine, and you think you're clear, and you go to pop up, and then there's just the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Staring back at a <laughs> nuclear submarine. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, hilarious. Whoops. Uh. Though, speaking of camera gear, uh, Casey, you'll be happy to know I uh, found Velcro instead of zip ties. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what were you zip tying together, Midland? I was cable managing oh. on the full cinema build out of one of my cameras sure and at the mo at that exact moment all i had was zip ties so i was making it work and then i found my roll of velcro and then i was happy that's the smarter thing to do all right board is up i'm in the chair and i see the warning from northwesterner i've just blown through a, a couple red boards at the west end of barker's fyi so is that what that was it awesome um, two <laughs> I, 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 literally, I, I literally sat at the dispatch chair and I did not have to process what the things in the upper corner were. I was like, well, I don't know why somebody tagged something as like a Norfolk and Western it. Well, whatever. Didn't read the rest of it, assuming that there were old tags or something. But no. Okay. <laughs> 
Wow, that's uh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, five dispatch. I'm about to knock down a red board here, coming off your board into Silva. Uh, two calling five. Be aware, I am backing up in Silva paperboard, heading towards Silva. So you may wish to hold somewhere. I'm making my passenger stop. Perfect. I will sneak around you then. Let's see. Are you all done at Wilmot Dark? No, I have no fours on the way around. Fours, fours coming around the horseshoe, and I'm just waiting at. Uh, uh, I, I'm four. I'm Hello. Alley. I can wait for you if you want. If you want, because I'll, because I'll. I just need I just need clearance to go to run around my train, grab the cars, and yeah, get get clearance to run around your train at least. I'll, I'll probably be close to out of your hair by then. So get get on the other end of your train, and and then I'll I'll run past you. Six to dispatch. Dispatch. Looking for clear. This is looking for clearance to run around my train. Are you at Thomas Valley? Yes, sir. You should have it. I have no clue what uh, I'm doing, so it's going to make it way more interesting. Oh, perfect. Our second uh, clueless dispatcher today. You know, I, I've done a little dispatching. I should be. I should, could probably do this if you want. Because <laughs> I'm still. Because i looking at red boards. Oh, this is half the fun. Well, you're probably looking at red boards because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know what train you are. He's the six. Um, I'm the six at Thomas Valley. Uh... Are you trying to go east or west at a, to run around? I gotta go. I gotta run west, then I got. I gotta go west first, and then I gotta run around east. This is two gonna calling get dispatch. <laughs> two calling dispatch. Wait, one. Hey, six. It won't let me line you out because it says Mark is there. Uh, no, it's actually oh. the number eight. that's on the approach to the other side. <laughs> uh oh. Or is or or number eight's doing some stuff around the yard. I don't know. That's uh, that's that's Armagon. Um, I'm just gonna duck back into a hole until we can figure this out. It's probably wise. You calling dispatch? Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, requesting permission to enter your board all the way into Dillsborough to complete switching operations in Dillsborough from Silva. Uh, do you want to go into the yard or on the main at Dills? Uh, main, please. I have cars for Locust. You should be lined all the way. Maybe okay, I'm still, I'm still looking at a red board, board, but I guess we're just going to deal with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. Try that. Still looking at a red board. Hold on. Should be the very last signal on your, on your board on the east. Why is it not doing the code? Uh, you want to throw, s yeah. So set eighty six to left, and then run it. Set eighty four to left, and then run it, and then you can set ninety. Okay. There we go. Thank right you. Out. Are you watching me make to, to harass? Yes, me? I am. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some ominous figure standing over me, and I turned around. And <laughs> just glaring at me. Yeah, I'd, I'd, put, I'd put my character in the chair. I can like stand on top of the board if it helps. <laughs> <laughs> the eye of Sauron. <laughs> the almighty eye of Sauron. Wait, does that mean there's an eye of Sauron watching the eye of Sauron? Hey, hey Zim, look at me. Look at look at yeah, yeah yes. Thumbnail <laughs> material. <laughs> I do it back there. You want me to screenshot it? No, it's fine. I, I got it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. uh this is number four. I'm all stopped on the main uh, right. in anticipation of Dark running around his train. I can keep going. <laughs> Just keep going, I say. Okay. You're probably gonna, you're, you're probably gonna get right. red board, though. Dark, uh, alright, you, uh, no, hold on. Alright, now, <laughs> now you should be clear out of Thomas Valley West to run around. Uh... I've got. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, but I'm no. entering Thomas Valley now, so. Wait, I. Oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for Let you? Let uh, <laughs> uh, We're gonna do that. 
<laughs> yeah, let, let me run through, because I'm on a half ton of coal, thanks to John. Uh, oh, so, uh, so I need to, like, coast into uh, freaking East Whittier on fumes. Alright, have fun. Worst case scenario, I end, I end up putting them in. <laughs> Who's in front of you up at Connolly? Uh, seven's up at Connolly waiting to get into East Whittier Yard. And then the eight is at East Whittier Yard. Okay. Are you guys going into the same part of the yard, or do I have to hold the Connolly? I am going to try and see if I can stay out of your way. I think you're going to have enough space if you want to put the cars into the sawmill track. I can do that. Alright, uh, Seven, you have permission to pass your red board. It's not going to let me, obviously, go around that uh, operated yard limit speed. Top of that, head into the yard, yard Is 50 speed. 50 too much through here? No, not too yeah. bad. 50's pushing. 50's kind of pushing it, I think. <laughs> Five dispatch. Plus. I swear to God. <laughs> 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 what do you want? Uh, I'm looking for lights out of Silva getting to uh, Dillsborough Engine House. Uh, I could probably I could figure this out, I promise. Why I believe not, in you. Why is it not letting me do the thing? Um I need so you want I need to set it to left because you're trying to go left. Yes. And the switches are normal. It will not let me code it. Uh two to dispatch, that's likely because I am on the main in Dillsboro. Yeah, it won't let you clear somebody into somebody else because it's like safety. Yeah, well, there's, there's I got yellow that. out of Silva. You got a yellow? Okay. I got a Good. yellow. Good. Do with that as you Oh, it's red now. Oh, you advanced. Beautiful. I, I did. I, I went on my yellow signal. Uh, if you want, you can route me around Midland through the station. Okay. Six requesting clearance to to pass danger. <laughs> Six, where are you? Are you I'm, still, I'm still sitting here at Thomas Valley. Okay, sorry. The markers are flying all over the screen whenever I grab them, and then they just kind of land places. Oh. Uh, so if the switch should be lined on the west end, so you're clear out yep. against danger. <laughs> My gun strain is just all kinds of spaghetti through the whole yard. That's delightful. <laughs> Yeah, uh -oh. six, you're, you're clear to run around. Let me know when you need the other switches. Oh, there you go. I can actually see that. All right, your switches are lined for the main. Six. Ten four. Just FYI, Bandan, I'm sneaking in behind you. Um, I'm going to hit up the coal loader here. Sounds good. So I was not going to make it up the hill otherwise. Is this your second or third set of logs you've spotted today? Just second. <laughs> oh, uh, the second. Eight calling dispatch over. Dispatch. Uh, what do I do now? Eight, where are you? For, for I'm time. in East Whittier. I could probably leave to Thomas Valley and points east. Uh, are you... Oh, you're at East Whittier? Okay. Yeah. Um, that's not gonna work. Alright, you are... clear into, on the main at Thomas Valley. Uh, be aware that Six is doing his run around there. So of you're course. not clear past the East switch. Copy that. Eight, out. Six to dispatch, I need to... I need back into the siding at... Uh, from the east side... From the west side on Thomas Valley. All right, yeah, switch is thrown. You are clear against the red. Thank you. For those playing at home, I made it to the East Whittier Coal Tower with 0.1 ton of coal. Shout out to John for turning coal into speed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, making it is making it, okay? It's true. We did, in fact, make it. How's the saying go? Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing? <laughs> Something like that. 
<laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna. Oh, I thought you were gonna co call. Uh, yeah, but, 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 never mind. <laughs> yes, the blah, 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 blah. that was two hundred pounds yeah. of coal more than you needed. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna just. <laughs> Two I was going to say, are you holding a... Go ahead, two. Uh, I'm going to need a clear signal just to move past the Locust Pin BR3 siding because I got some switching to do and the signal's in the way. Uh, yeah, just blow through it at yard speed. Roger that. Blowing through it at yard speed. I'm not doing yard speed. Gonna highball. Six to dispatch. I need clearance to uh, to Wilmot. Midland, did you brown your choo choo, or did it come to you that brown? Uh, it is. The, it was. It arrived in my possession. Wilmot. This brown. That that tracks. Uh, seven. Seven here. Are you still eastbound at uh, Whittier? No, I'm sitting in the log spur at Whittier. Oh, okay. Who who was eastbound out of what? Your eight. That is I. Yes. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put six ahead of you to Wilmot. All right. Ne neither of you are priority, right? I'm uh, just freight. No. Yeah. All right. Six, you're clear out of the siding at Thomas Valley to Wilmot. Understood. Thank you. Uh, eight, I you're... was away and off the board. Yay! Thanks, five. I'm away and off the board. Don't worry about me anymore, Zim. How do I delete a marker? Double click it and guy. say delete, I think? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good God. Er Eric's train is be slowly becoming the train of all time. Mostly empties, except for the, you know, really heavy coal bits. Except for the black rocks that we really like to put in local <laughs> fire boxes. Yes, them's. <laughs> Two, one, have, three, four tons. I have become a sandworm. <laughs> Pretty Who's much. I am shy not, loot. My why is it not letting me hear six through barkers? There's nothing there. Might be a switch open somewhere? All the switches are normalized. Might be a, a hand throw switch open. Maybe. I only just got to Bar I only just got to Wilmot, so. Yeah, I see that. Well, I'm, I'm trying. You're you're clear into the west end of Barker's if that's where you're going next. Nope, I'm just going to Wilmot because I got some, a little bit of switching. He's doing some switching and then he's going the other way. So oh, I should have. He's put Armagon in front of you. Y yeah, yeah, it's fine. So Armagon's fine. gonna. <laughs> Armagon. Uh, Armagon might be longer than Thomas Valley. Yeah, but six wasn't. It's gonna. Eh, no, you'll probably fit. So six is probably gonna have to go back in the hole, on on top of their own selves when they're done switching to let the the eight go past. Look, I need you to <laughs> dump think... half your train on red marble and turn trip optimizer back on. <laughs> now you're oh, talking God. like a real dispatcher. <laughs> oh God. Oh, goodness. Oh, what the heck? Let me just bonk the coal loader with my entire existence real quick. Wait, who's in the hole at Thomas Valley? <laughs> me. That's six, my, that's my oh, train. The rest of six. Oh, you, oh, you, okay, well, it let me throw the switch back, and if the switch wasn't fouled, then I didn't realize you left part of your train there. I was really confused. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to shunt with... It's kind of hard for me to uh, switch cars out with, like... <laughs> yeah, six is the westbound freight. Like, six and eight are our two big big dogs for over the road. Oh, look, someone's at Bryson. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Yeah, Where he's... are you headed? I am going to drop uh, these passenger cars off at the depot and go put my uh, train away after fueling. Yeah, he's okay. done for the day. Passenger trains finished up nice and nice and early today. Uh, Speed. Two to dispatch beware. I have one more Dunk. delivery to make, which is Dillsboro repair track, and then I have a cut of cars for the interchange. Copy that. I hear a choo-choo. 
Okay. Four calling dispatch over. Dispatch. Just FYI, I'm going to be heading up Connolly Creek with my empties to spot. So, I'll be dropping off the board here shortly. Copy that. Uh, two to dispatch be advised, I'm just going to shove through a couple of red signals here because I'm going to a place that really is not far away. Okay, have fun. Do you have, uh, hey, two, dispatch to two, do you have cars north of the Dillsboro switch? Or, sorry, west? I do not. Okay, well, there's something. It says occupy block zero cars, so I don't know what to do. That, that might be a switch that's unlocked. Yeah, I have, I have my, I'm, I'm already lined for the repair track where I need to be, so that might be why you're having gotcha. some fun there. Yeah, when any switch is not lined for the main in that block, it'll, uh, any hand throw switch. It just tells you it's an occupied block, and that's it. Let's see, how fast can I go through here? 25. 8, call and dispatch, over. Dispatch. I am currently holding position west of Thomas Valley. Copy that, 8. 6, uh, where are you going once you are done switching? Are you going back to gonna... the train? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the head. I gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna go that's, back to the head of the train. And that's the west end. Actually, I'll actually I'll go back to the east end of the train if I need to wait for uh, eight. Copy that. Uh, you're lined into the east end of your train. Let me know when you're clear. Okay. Oh look, there's a train outside my window. <laughs> it's always funny when you're sitting up there and it's like, oh my god, this train stuff's happening. It happens a lot more often on bigger maps, but because Bryson, like that was the most cars I've ever seen leaving Bryson today. That because we have Robinson, we had the the cars for the Y. It's kind of funny. I uh, on my save, I've been playing and I've got massive trains going between the interchanges now. Yeah, it's gotten to the point where I did not have the money for more helpers for red marble, and I was tired of tripling the hill. But. <laughs> Uh, a certain modded locomotive I have, the way they coded it, it's only cost a dollar. So I may or may not have an army of SYs. That is <laughs> delightful. Just keep throwing more of them at the problem. Uh, yeah, just more more engines usually fixes the problem, my experience. <laughs> Gotta get all the way up to P3 and P4. So I guess we don't have any pulpwood cars that load at P1 and P2 anymore. All just runs out of P3, P4. That's fine. Get all my switches lined. And, uh... I yeah. I refuse to service any of the paperboard places on my save. <laughs> Don't like owning your own cars? Uh, I do Whittier Sawmill. Oh, that one's not too bad. All right, well, we'll pick things back up when we're just about ready to tie up here. So, save a little time here. Eight to dispatch. Over. I am dispatched. Um, so you said I was clear to Cowie while I'm coming up on it pretty fast. Where, I mean, all this stuff needs to go to Silva, to the interchange. So, uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, you're clear as far as signals let you. Roger that. No <laughs> signal indication. Love that. Six to six to Whittier. Where am I good to put my uh, freight? Where am I good to drop my loads for you? Uh, just put them on one of the yard tracks. I'll take them from there. Ten four. Well, number four is running up into East Whittier here. All the pulp woods done for the day. Uh, our over the road trains definitely still have a ways to go uh, in both directions. So there's still more of the episode yet to come, uh, at least in terms of the day in Railroader. But I think for the sake of the video, because all, not all the trains are going to be running, we're going to call it there. But uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoy the, the podcast, the shenanigans, and hearing people's different perspectives about all things railroad. And, of course, uh, take a look out on Saturday for videos talking about all things class lamps, marker lamps. Uh, hopefully that'll be a, a fun one for those of you who are not familiar. So, as always, folks, thanks so much for watching. Catch you all next time. Bye! See you, Bye. Bye, Internet!